So, uh, so this is one of the questions that I haven't done in the past. Then uh, there's really a reason for it. Uh, one of which is that it's a, the kind of question where really all you need to do is look up the right formula and plug in numbers into the formula. And um, so those are what I would call the easiest questions in physics because you know if it's a matter of finding the right. Formula. <laughs> I keep doing scare quotes. I keep hearing from the students. You know, I just uh, I understand the concept. I just need to know where to find the right formula. And what we are teaching in the physics class is um, to teach you how to use the concepts to drive the equations into which you will be plugging in numbers. So the more substantial questions, the questions where you have to think through the physics, tends to be the types where there isn't some formula for you to look up. Now, this question here is one in which where uh, you just have to look up the formula. So you have to know the Lensmaker's formula. And it's the kind of formula that um, I wouldn't waste my memory space uh, mem memorizing because it's uh, used in, in such niche cases. So what I would uh, memorize is where to look it up. So in, my, in the textbook, I will know in what section it occurs so, so that I will look it up. Or, you know, I'll remember the name, Lensmaker's Formula, so that I can search for it, even Google search. Although, um, for something like Lensmaker's Formula, I would recommend that you um, uh, look it up in the textbook because the part of the... Oh, Let's hope it updates. <laughs> um, part of the problem um, potentially getting the formula from different sources is that the sign convention being used in other sources might be different from the sign convention your textbook uses. So in your textbook, I think it's in this section. If it's not here, I will search around. So in the section about thin lenses, uh, ray tracing, image information by thin lenses, is drawing thin lens equation. Yeah, okay, yeah. Image information by the refraction, and it goes through the derivation, which I encourage you to read through. And in the end, what I need is this expression, which seems like the final result. And I think if I scroll through a little bit, yeah, here. This is the lens maker's equation. And uh, that's the formula you need to plug numbers into and um, <laughs> and get things. So so I'm just going to plug in numbers here. Um, so yeah, N1 is air usually, 1. N2 is going to be the index of refraction of the material, like a glass. Okay. So um, let me make sure I understand all, all the symbols. I think R1 is the radius of curvature of the the first surface, so R1 is this R1 here, and looking back up, it's the surface here, yeah, R1 here. So it's describing a plano convex lens. So for this question, this first surface is a planar surface, meaning R1 goes to infinity. Let me write that down somewhere so that I don't forget. Um, so for our setup, R1 is going to be going to infinity and r2 is going to be a convex surface okay um and r2 they're giving us a signed quantity so i'm hoping that this r2 equals minus 23 centimeter is one that includes all the sign convention stuff uh, well plug in the numbers see if I get it wrong, I'll study the sign convention more carefully and try to get it right. So let me plug in the numbers for this 1 over f, and then I'll take the reciprocal. So 1 over f is going to be, uh, let me declare some of the symbols I'll use. And um, I don't think I'll need the r1, uh, so I'll use r2. Um, so the expression I'm plugging numbers into is n minus 1. Just going to use the simplified version times, and this first term, because r1 goes to infinity, that'll be 0, 0 minus, and 1 over r2, 1 over r2. I'm doing it this way to make use of a uh, sage math syntax known as a substitution. I like it for plugging in numbers. So I have this algebraic expression, 
and I can plug in numbers this way. N is equal to 1.5, R2 is equal to minus 23 centimeters. And I think uh, then I will get an answer that's in inverse centimeter, take the reciprocal to get focal length in centimeters. So do that, get to me a result there. Oh, I might have an issue with the N. Um, yeah. Um, uh, let me do it this way. I'm going to use capital N. Uh, can I clear N? Is there something you can do? Okay. Because uh, uh, lowercase N has some special meaning in Sage Math, so it might be doing something where. Uh, so let me just use capital N instead of lowercase n. Uh, so I'm substituting in these values. Let me make sure it does decimal approximation. Good. Um, oh, that is weird. What is it doing? Um, oh, I know. Um, OK. I need a bigger parenthesis so that this uh, uh, bound method, it's a Python term, it applies to this entire expression. Okay, that's what I should have done. Okay, so that's uh, the answer for 1 over f. So I need to take the reciprocal. Sorry, I don't know what it did. Um, I need to take the reciprocal of previous output, which I can do with underscore to get focal length. Sorry, uh, I must have gone into markdown. So, uh, so, okay, 46 centimeters. So it says that's the focal length, okay. Positive focal length, that sounds about right. Planar convex, that's a converging lens. So that should be right, yeah, that's it. So, so yeah, it actually took a lot longer than it needed to be. But um, really all you need to do for these questions like this is I guess one, recognize from the description that it's a question that requires use of lens maker's equation and use lens maker's equation. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, and again, that's one of the reasons I haven't done in the past because it's a relatively simple question once you realize what formula you need to use.